Yes, as a plot device, the Prime Directive is clearly excellent. Uh, if memory serves, the Prime Directive tends to get violated on a quite regular basis. But uh, aside from that, um, levity aside, uh, if it were the case that primitive societies were naturally idyllic, happy, fulfilled places in which simple primitives lived happy and fulfilled lives, yes, one might be able to make a credible ethical case for uh, leaving them be. But the problem is that life in a state of nature, whether on the African savanna or, uh, this is counterintuitive, in a modern uh, urban post-industrial society, is full of cruelty and suffering. And just as if there is a small a toddler who is coming to harm, whether physical, emotional, and emotional, we recognise for the most part that we have an obligation to care for and look after that toddler. We are caregivers. Likewise, in the case of intelligent, rational, ethically concerned beings, I think we have an ethical responsibility to look after the interests of cognitively humble beings who essentially cannot take care of themselves. As a teenager, I enjoyed Star Trek. Uh, as a teenager, I enjoyed uh, reading sci-fi. Uh, I think one uh, problem as one becomes perhaps a little older and more sophisticated is that a lot of sci-fi, not least Star Trek, becomes implausible in innumerable different ways. But yes, I enjoy. I enjoyed Star Trek. Too often we mistake uh, an epistemological limitation for some deep metaphysical truth. Uh, now, the kind of perspective that I'm outlining, some people will probably think of the Borg. Uh, but yes, one shouldn't imagine that a, a world of naturalised telepathy would uh, involve Borg-like uh, scenarios. But yes, a world in which there is radical transparency and we can, reversibly or otherwise, uh, mind meld, uh, so to speak, uh, yes, the nature of our behaviour, uh, uh, the way we think of ourselves and other subjects we experience is going to be radically different from the world as it exists today because yeah, natural selection has ensured that each of us thinks of ourselves as the centre of the universe. After all, the world seems to be centred around your body image and follows you around. And uh, though this is clearly fitness enhancing and adaptive from a gene's eye perspective, it is uh, in a fundamental sense a, a delusion.